There's another dime or something. What's up? This is Bill Ladd, and the FedEx truck just left and gave me this new box from First Texas. It says F44. Let's unbox this thing and check it out. All right, I've already seen the F11, so this is very similar. Nice big LCD screen, and also I have to point out that this is a solid LCD. This is not like that flimsy plastic. You've got all your tactile buttons there. You've got a waterproof speaker that's in the F there, which is a pretty cool touch. This gasket, a rubber piece down the bottom, is going to protect your quarter inch headphone jack. Okay, this is listed as a weatherproof detector. It's not supposed to be submerged, but you can get it wet in the rain and such. And I want to show you the batteries here. This is a sealed compartment here. This door comes off. It's got this really unique little thing you pull out. And what pulls out is a tray with two double A's in it. See that? And the manual says they last 30 hours, so that's pretty wild. All right, let's turn this thing on and check out the LCD. Whoa, those are, look at these numbers, people. Huge, bold numbers. Whoa. I got to say, I love my AT Gold, but the AT Gold can't hold a candle to these huge numbers. They're nice and bold. You can see them from a mile away. Okay, before I put this together, I just want to point out something that I think is a really cool feature. See the flashing arrow right there? That actually tells you that your ground balance has dropped below its point. That's an awesome feature. And a flashing up arrow would mean that the ground phase or ground balance has increased above its set point. That is cool. All right, let's check out the search coil. This is a new style coil from First Texas. And this is what they're calling the teardrop. It's an 11 inch concentric elliptical. Pretty nice. There's a replaceable rubber O-ring right here and that's what keeps it water resistant. I'm really liking the look of this coil. Great ground coverage. I prefer a double D coil, but this is the next best thing right here. Let's fire this thing up and check out some of the controls here. Love these huge numbers. Okay. Look at the numbers. Great indication here. Okay, it defaults onto the jewelry mode, and in the jewelry mode, iron gets notched out automatically. It would say FE right here. Let's check out the other modes. That's a coin mode, and the coin mode defaults into a notch taking out the trash, iron, and uh, foil tab area. Artifact mode accepts everything. There's the FE for iron there, so you're going to hear it all. There's a custom program where you can notch your own stuff. That's pretty cool, so a custom memory bank there. And an all metal mode, again, accepting everything, so that's really nice. GG is your ground grab. This is going to be where you pump the coil up and down to get your ground balance grab. Okay, these are all tactile pads, nice and easy to push. This is the menu, and it's on sensitivity. So you up and down. 
sensitivity up to 10. Getting chattery in the house. It goes down, lights up notch, so we can notch out stuff. Volume, we can increase that. Up to 20 is the volume. Okay, the volume goes up to 20 on this machine because this unit has Fisher's new patented FE tone, or it's got the iron tone, which is an adjustable iron audio. You can, re you can actually reduce the volume of iron targets in the settings of 10 to 20. So that's pretty cool. If you like to hear a lot of iron, you can crank that up. If you don't like to hear it, you can go below 10 and have um, the volume the same for ferrous and non-ferrous. Even though there's a ton of metal in this room and on this display case, I want to just run a couple targets over the coil so you can see the huge numbers and see what they read. Here's a fish and weight to start with. Nice. This is a four-tone unit, by the way. How about a Merc? You're going to see that the numbers read a little bit lower on this machine, and I'll show you why in a second. Wheat Penny. A wheat reads in the 50s. A lot of people might question why. Let me show you the new scale they've set up on this machine. Okay, here's the conductivity setup as the manual shows it. And everything's categorized by tens. So iron is 1 to 19. Foil's going to be in the 20s. Nickels are always going to be in the 30s. Aluminum or a big wad of foil in the 40s. Zincs and compa pennies always in the 50s. So a little lower on the scale than a penny would hit on some machines. Dimes, 60 to 69. Quarters in the 70s. Halves in the 80s. And silver dollars in the 90s. Okay, pardon the glare on the screen. We'll do the best we can here. It's sunny out. Um, let's show you the ground grab. Gives you a nice big number. Pumping the coil. Once it sets it itself, you're all set. I'm in the artifact mode, which means I'm going to listen to everything. And there's already a nickel signal right here. Again, if you remember the chart, the nickels are in the 30s. All right, let's play with the iron volume a little bit. I'm on volume. And this machine does save its last settings, which is pretty cool. A lot of these low price machines don't save your last settings. Now, with the iron volume, remember, if you want to hear more iron and hear it louder, you can go up to 20. It's on 11 now. See how you're barely hearing it? This is for ear fatigue. But look at the difference when I go over a dime that I just threw down. And again, a dime. Dimes are in the 60s on this machine. Now, Let's turn the iron volume up in case you want to hear how much iron is in the ground, which I like to do. Okay, iron volume at 20. Listen to it now. And the iron numbers are showing on the screen in the teens. and listen to the high tones. So that's pretty cool. I would probably run this machine at a cellar hole or something on 20.
There's another dime or something. Let's dig one of these. Kind of like this teardrop coil, 11 inches. Gotta love the numbers and they stick pretty well too. Look at this. 62, 63, solid. You're also getting an indication of depth. One bar is two inches, so there were three bars there, so maybe five, six inches on that one. And you get the constant flashing. That means you can adjust the ground balance again, so let's do that. Now we got a better ground grab. Solid 62, what is it? And there it is, it is just what the chart says, clad dime. Okay. Alright, thanks for coming along for the unveiling of the brand new Fisher F44. The thing's pretty nice at the $349 price point. You can't beat it. Power pack with a bunch of features. Also, uh, water resistant. We just showed you the Ion Audio. A lot of features and notching. Pretty much everything you need to get started. Pretty much a turn on and go detector with the biggest numbers I've ever seen. So, uh, nice lock on numbers as well. So, keep this in mind at that price point, and we're out of here.